Jack Lambert was a tall middle linebacker at six foot four, but extremely light at only 218 pounds. The name of his game was Intensity and Relentless Pursuit. He was a Steelers second round draft pick in 1974 out of Kent State, where he studied the philosophy of playing middle linebacker by Dick Butkus. Let's check him out. Steelers won Super Bowls in his first two years. He was the NFL's Defensive Rookie of the Year in 1974 and made second-team All-Pro in the Pro Bowl team in 1975. In 1976, he had his best year when he was the NFL Defensive Player of the Year, second in MVP voting, first-team All-Pro, and made another Pro Bowl game. His eight fumble recoveries led the NFL and is the second most all-time for a non-quarterback. Who was the Steelers' starting middle linebacker before Lambert? It's Henry Davis, who started all 14 regular season games in 1972 and 1973 while making the Pro Bowl in 72. You're my size, there's one thing you don't have to worry about, and that's getting filled up. So a lot of people are really surprised when they find out that I drink light beer from Miller. It has one third less calories than their regular beer, and it's less filling. But that's not why I drink it. I drink light because I love that taste. Hey, Mac, another light. Coming up. Hey, baby, what's going on? Five, Shorty. Shorty. Ooh. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Jack Lambert will keep the pot boiling until the final gun is over. Oh, you see the last, the last push belonged to Chester, but the three or four before it, I, I do believe, belonged to Jack. And Allen comes in. Beautiful teeth. From Glenn Edwards from the secondary, but Lambert's in there. Green, they're all, wait a minute. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You see him pushing Joe Green? No, Lambert's, they're not really fighting among themselves. They're really doing so let's get this thing going. Green's trying to calm Lambert down. Yeah. give credit where credit is due. Without the Steelers' formidable front four of L.C. Greenwood, Dwight White, Joe Green, and Ernie Holmes, Lambert's job would have been immeasurably more difficult. Besides being a great run stuffer, Lambert was also a very good pass defender. He was terrific covering the top receiving running backs in the league like Lydell Mitchell. He 
hit like a Mack truck, like on this play when he caused a fumble. It was also a terrific blitzer. Lambert's partners in punishment were Jack Ham and Andy Russell. In 1974, Lambert's rookie year, both Ham and Russell went to the Pro Bowl. Then in 1975, all three linebackers went to the Pro Bowl. It's amazing. In 1976, Lambert and Ham went to the Pro Bowl again. In 1976 was Andy Russell's final season. In 1976, the Steel Curtain was rolling over opponents. Starting in week 6 through week 14, they only gave up 28 points. That's a hair over 3 points per game. And during this 9-game streak, they had 5 shutouts. Heading into the 1976 Week 11 game against the Oilers, the Steelers' defense was tougher than a $2 stake well done. During the previous 4-game stretch, the Steelers outscored their opponents 109-3. Are you kidding me? He does play with a degree of intensity, I would say. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> he really does. He is something. Lambert played quarterback in high school, so it should come as no surprise, given his intensity and fervor for team play, that he came to the aid of quarterback Mike Kruzek. After number 53, Bo Harris gave him a love tap on the sideline. Lambert's fiery play fueled the Steelers' defense time and time again. Jack Lambert only weighed 204 pounds as a rookie in 1974. While he added 15 pounds to his frame later on, it wasn't his physical size that intimidated opponents and made him into a Hall of Famer. It was the size of his heart. Although he wasn't physically as big as Dick Butkus, the two shared a priceless quality, intensity. Please like and share this video. And as always, thank you for watching.